Hi everybody, it's Matthew from the DDO library. Welcome back to the 912, where I pick a new book at the library, I read it, and I give you my opinion without spoiler. This my reading suggestion is How Do You Live by Genzaburo Yoshino. In his introduction, Neil Gaiman talks about a fiction book with philosophy in it, or maybe a philosophy book with a story. After reading the book, I could not agree more. It's definitely not a typical book, but I digress. What is it about? It takes place in Tokyo in the 1930s. It's the story of Copper, a 15-year-old boy and his gang of close friends. We learn more about how they met, about their lives, they go to school, and that's about it. I know, it doesn't sound that great. But that's only half of the book. The other half is what I could describe as a conversation between Copper and his uncle. You see, Copper's dad is dead, and his uncle will try to help Copper learn about growing up and how to become a young adult. That's the philosophy part. The uncle used what happened to Copper and his friend as a basis for his teaching. The book is really a beautifully done coming-of-age story about self-discovery but it's also so much more. Through Copper's action, we discuss bullying, loyalty, betrayal, shame, and responsibility. The book also talks about history, social class, and just being a good person. I read somewhere that this book is a lesson on language, heart, science, and philosophy. And that's true. It's a lot to pack in a novel. The way the author managed that is that through the uncle's dialogue, a lot of it is told directly to the reader. There's not a lot of interpretation required. He spells it out pretty clearly and it can be a little bit moralistic at times. So you will like it or hate it. It's a good time to talk about why the book is like that. The context in which the book was made is really important to understand what the book is about. The book was originally published in Japanese in 1937. As you may know, it was right before the Second World War. At that time, Japan was becoming more authoritarian. Among other things, it means you weren't allowed to criticize the government. You could be arrested for that. Genzaburo was a pacifist, and he really didn't like the direction his country was going. So he decided to make a book for children about pacifism, humanitarianism, and critical thinking. To quote Wikipedia, this book is one of the Nihon Soshan Bonko series that intended to convict knowledge and idea of free and progressive culture to school children in Japan. However, many of the work were discouraged by the rise of Japanese militarism in the 1930s. The author described his work as a philosophy and ethic book for children in fiction form. Now the book is a classic in children's literature in Japan, and this is our first English translation. You can learn more about the context at the end of the book, and it was very interesting. Studio Ghibli is currently working on a movie inspired by the book. Of course, we're going to have it at the library when it comes out, probably in 2023, but be prepared and read the book first. I can understand why this book is so important for a lot of people. I would recommend it for 10 to 14 years old. So if you want to read How Do You Live by Genzaburo Yoshino, it's available right now at the library. You can reserve it on our website or call us to make a reservation. The audiobook and ebooks are also available on eMedia. All the links are in the description. And before we go, don't forget to like, share, and comment on the video, subscribe to the library's YouTube channel and Facebook page, and come to the library to see us and talk about books. I'll see you next time.